So, I have these friends. How's it going, everyone? Um, I'll always be friends with her because, you know, she doesn't really have a brother. And I'm not going to mention names. But she, her brother is a jerk. I mean, doesn't even check up on her, see how she's doing. Her own family is kind of cruel. And um, it makes sense. It makes sense why she has a, a past, you know. And um, I feel that she's a sex addict. And because uh, she always, she cares about sex way too much. And I'm afraid that with that problem that she has, I feel like that's what's causing her depression. And I feel like, you know, if she keeps doing these things, you know, and then she tells me, oh, well, I believe in monogamous relationships. I'm like, but do you really? You know, like, is it really monogamous when... You know, all the stories she's told me about, you know, the, you know, cause she's cheated before and her, you know, one of her boyfriends cheated on her. So it's kind of like, like, really, do you really believe in monogamous relationships? Like, how can you a hundred percent trust the guys that you're with when they're kind of like sex addicts too? Because I feel like a lot of guys, and this is what I mean when I say this, because I would know because I'm a guy. Not all guys are genuine guys, okay? A lot of times guys use women for sexual gratification. She may be the same exact way, but you can't really, you know, trust those guys because a lot of those guys are going to use you for sex. And you wonder why you get your heart broken and why you get so upset because... You bang too much. <laughs> That's the problem. If you just wait it out, resist the temptation and the urge, you'll be a lot happier. I would know that because I'm no longer a virgin. So I waited this long and I'm 29. And uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, it's cool that I'm not a virgin anymore, but sex is overrated. It really is. I mean, people think about, oh, sex is this big beautiful thing sex is like i would rather do fucking construction than do sex (laughs) to be honest with you i think jesus fucking christ i was with this girl gorgeous girl amazing body has curves in all the right places and so i'm you know doing sex for the first time in my own bedroom and i'm getting my dick sucked and she's like being all sexy wearing this sexy you know, bra and panties, and she's turning around, I'm like, oh my god, look at this beautiful ass, and I'm like, just loving it, and just sucking it, and making out with her, but the thing that's interesting is the thing I liked the most was making out, it wasn't so much of having sex that was enjoyable for me, I really enjoyed making out with her though, and I liked sucking her tits, her tits are beautiful, and I loved sucking those things, You know, people who eat pussy, I tried it. Not my thing. Um, One, it is wet as shit. I mean, you don't even... I didn't even need lube for that thing. Like, that thing was so goddamn wet. There was so much cum in there. I could easily use no fucking, you know, cum. And she has a great, like, body and everything. It's just... I don't think sex is for me. I think sex is overrated, and I think the whole aspect of it, like the feeling, I think people have a tendency to be sex addicts. And I think people, you know, they say, oh, well, I want, you know, I only have sex for love, but do you really? (laughs) I mean, is it really love or is it lust? Because I feel like people can't differentiate the two. I feel like a lot of people when they do have sex and they get in these relationships and they get out of these relationships, I feel like they miss more of the sex than the actual person itself. And that's why a lot of those people don't masturbate because they can just screw anybody. And, um, I'm not like judging. I'm just saying this is how it is, you know? And, uh, like I tried it for my first time and, uh, I've gotten a BJ more than once. Um, it's not that great. Um, Nothing she did wrong. It's just, I didn't really like it. Um, You would think a BJ would feel amazing. It really isn't. (laughs) Um, Because I've gotten a BJ twice. And uh, 
you know, I'm no longer virgin. I mean, the one good thing is now I have this part of me where I'm like, well, I don't want to die a virgin. Well, now I won't, <laughs> but I'm still going to die alone. Uh, <laughs> it sounds sad, but it's the truth, you know? Uh, you know, and this girl, she really wants to be in a relationship with me. She's like, this is the greatest guy, whatever. You know, relationships are overrated too. Uh, people think they're they're great and they're beautiful. I have a lot of trust issues and people with their backstories and all their past stuff that they tell me, to be honest with you, it really freaks me out to a degree, you know, and it really bothers me. I mean, it's one thing to be friends with people like that, but it's another when you're actually dating that person. So like, I have this one friend that's kind of like addicted to sex, I think, because it's like it's nonstop with her. And I feel like if, let's say, hypothetically speaking, if she jumped on me and, and tried to make out with me and try to get naked or whatever, I'd be like, oh, I, I thought you were the one. I'd be like, get the fuck off me. <laughs> like, there's no way in hell this is happening. That's like, that's like doing your fucking sister. That's just gross. Um, no, but I do feel like I'm family to her just because her own brother is absent you know he doesn't care so I just you know at first I felt you know bad because you know I let my emotions get in the way and I kind of was judging her and you know what I feel like she gets enough of that of criticism criticism from her parents and gets criticism from her you know from her peers and her job's hard as shit you know and it's like, who am I to attack her, you know? It's like, you get enough of that grief from your parents. She doesn't need it from me, you know? And that's the problem. These Asian women, they're kind of, they don't realize that they're in child abuse. I mean, a lot of these Asian parents don't even know how the fuck to treat their kids right. So these, so they kind of force their kids to become these... I mean, you should see these girls and these girls in porn. I mean, they, a lot of them are like Asian because they're, they have such fucked up lives. I mean, their parents are, don't let them explore of who they are. So then they get really curious and then they start exploring sex and everything else. And then they end up, you know, doing very disgusting, very low things. And it's, it's disturbing, but I mean, that's who she is. That's the kind of person she is. So, I mean, it's gross. It's weird. I don't understand it. I mean, I love her to death, but, you know, all I can do is be her friend. I mean, I, it's, it's hard to be friends with certain people like that, but at the same time, how many people are you going to meet who have your disability? Even though it's like one out of 76 people have it. So, used to be... Not too long ago, it used to be one out of 150. Now it's one out of 76. And I think, and I know a lot of people will get mad at me when I say it, but I personally believe that my nephew is. Because he doesn't speak to anybody. He doesn't really have eye contact. There, he's a very smart kid. I mean, my God, he's intelligent. But there's certain things about him that the social aspect you know him having panic attacks every time his dad's gone for five seconds I you know I'm a little worried and uh, I think there's a good chance he could be because I am so I think that the gene could have passed down you know what I mean so I mean we'll see I mean he's only three but I mean you know in the next four or five years We'll find out, and I'm hoping he isn't. I really hope he's not, but I have a feeling that he might be because he, it took him later in life to do all these things, like walking and talking and all that stuff. So, anyway, later. <laughs>